Hello guys and welcome to another review. Today we'll be taking a closer look at an app called Flume. You probably never heard about Flume, but it's basically Instagram for your Mac. In the video description below you find a link um, for PC, so Windows version as well. Um, it's a different program and I'm gonna show you this program here on a Mac. I'm using a normal MacBook Pro 2015 version and why am I doing this review about that app? You know you have your smartphone all the time and you swipe through Instagram it's uh, on that little nice uh, screen and after a while you think yeah okay I want to see that photo maybe a little bit bigger and at the, at the end it's like you're on you're on your smartphone the entire day you check facebook you do some calls you do whatsapp whatever and it's pretty nice to have that app on your mac just to get these photos bigger to do to to save these files it's not an official instagram app so you might risk that your someone will close your instagram account but i'm using this uh, app now for almost one year and it's really really nice and one thing that is cool about that app is that you can upload videos and photos directly from that app. So you don't need to um, transfer any photos or video files from your Mac or PC to your smartphone and then upload it from there. And another cool thing is that you can do like all the hashtags and maybe some notes. Let's say you have a bakery and you're using the same hashtags all the time and you don't want to um, write them down all the time again, which takes a lot of time. So you basically start by doing, just go to your notes and say, um, hello, uh, nice new photo. And then basically what you can do is you say bread, then you say um, whatever bakery, then you can type in sunny. And let's say you're using these hashtags all the time. They're here, just copy and paste them. So it's easy as that. Um, so I'm gonna show you that app now. Basically, you need to go to your app store. As I said, I give you an alternative version for your PC as well. The link is in the description below. So once you're in the app store, you basically type in Flume. The system here runs in German, but basically the buttons are on the same spot in English. And there it is. And that's, basi that's basically the app. It's just 10.5 megabytes big. It's available in many different languages. Let's say German, Arabian, Danish, English, French, Greek, Indonesia, Italian, Japanese, and whatever. And it costs 10 euros but I think there's a little trial version as well uh, but I got the full version and it's pretty nice and it does its job pretty good so I'm gonna open this app now close the app store and that's basically my Instagram account from my Mac what do we do now we go through that app step by step and if you have any questions just leave me a comment below so first of all uh, if you go down with your mouse, there is a little toolbar coming up and the first point is the most important point basically it's the camera symbol and if you press on that you, you can choose between take a photo or choose a photo. If you say uh, I'm gonna take a photo it will uh, do a photo with your webcam probably uh, if you have a webcam installed and if you go for choose uh, let's say I'm gonna choose now this one and let's say, hey, what a wonderful day in the sky. And then you can say sky, hashtag clouds, hashtag blue, hashtag airplane. And that's basically all. Then you can say post. Then it's uploading that photo directly from that app onto your Instagram account. And if you check now your phone, it will be there as well, which is quite nice. Uh, for some reason it takes a little bit longer, but it might be the reason that this photo is really, really big. It's making, it's compressing that photo. Anyways, the quality is much better if you upload a high quality photo instead of a low quality photo. And there is, there is basically our photo. So once we're on that photo, we basically can like our own photo and if we go back 
you see that little heart down there? So these photos are liked by yourself, basically. Then what you can do, you can say, oh, I'm writing a comment, say, hey, that's a cool photo. And there it is. Then you can mark that photo that, um, so you have an extra place here where you have all marked photos, which is quite nice. So we're going to mark that. And of course, if you press on that photo once with the left mouse, and then you press the space key, it will be there in high resolution, which is quite nice. Uh, of course, if you do a right click, you can say bigger uh, playback or whatever, you bigger screen, I don't know how it's called, but it's the same function basically. So if you press there again, you can say uh, show the author, so it will be directed to your Instagram account. Uh, let's say I don't like that photo anymore, then just press it and it has now zero likes. Um, we can say we comment that photo by doing a right click, but I mean it's much easier to just to press one of these lines over here. Say cool. And then basically you just press enter and there's your comment. Um, what we can do, uh, photo not saving anymore. And here's another important part. It's a copy the URL. So just press on that. And it's copied now the URL into the, your, I don't know, your copy section, whatever. If you press on messages, I basically can just put it in by putting command V and then I have shared that photo with a friend. Also by saying Thailand means in Germany, let's say share, and then I can share that photo via email or messages, or I can put it in my notes as well. Here's the entire URL for that photo as well. And here's another cool thing. We can download that photo. We can get rid of the photo. And we can do some work on that photo as well. Let's say I want to have uh, the place where I took that photo. Let's say Hamburg Airport. And let's say Hamburg Airport. Flughafen Hamburg. T Hamburg Airport. Okay, let's choose the first one. And there's a little chart and then you'd say finish and of course you can put in some more hashtags let's say Hamburg and airport and then you go on save and it's there and you have like all the hashtags in blue so if you press on one of these hashtags everything will be displayed with exactly the same hashtag which is quite nice so and then I go back to that account so that's basically all what you can do in that section. If you go down there, you can go to your house. And the house is basically the start screen of your Instagram account. So what you see, you see like all the posts from your friends or the website you've liked, whatever. And there's another like uh, thing. So I like these photos. It's quite nice. Then there's a little star which is like um, things that you might like or whatever, so you know what I mean. And there's some video files and there's some photos as well. And if you go down on search, it's really cool. You have like three bars up on top of here and I can put in now bank. So now I, if I press now on text, uh, I can go to that hashtag and say bank. And I get everything was exactly that hashtag. Then I can go back and say user. And then I get Banksy, Banks, Bank, Karma, whatever. And I can press on these accounts. And I see the followers, subscribers, whatever. So that's basically that Instagram account. Then I can go to places. Where, let's say, where a lot of banks are. Hotel banks. Bang G, Van Breda and Co. and so on and so on. So, which is quite nice. So you look, you basically can search here for users. You can basically search here for hashtags or places. This little clock down here basically says um, here someone has liked your photo or you have someone new who follows you. And of course you have a message symbol down here as well. And from here I can send now messages via Instagram. I say, hello, Akbar, 
which is one of my friends, Akbar, there it is. And I can give him a like, I can send him a photo, or I can put him some smileys as well. Then I go back. And if I press down here on my symbol, that's basically my Instagram account. Um, so that's the normal view. I can make it a little bit smaller, but not smaller than that. And I can't make it bigger than that. If I want to see all the photos, I just press on these th three lines here, on these three bars. And I can swipe through all the photos, which is quite nice as well. Then these are photos that someone else took of me. Yeah, I know I'm not an airplane, but someone just posted them. And here is this little flag that I've told you, if you marked a photo by pressing that flag, it will be listed in here. See, if I go now back in that photo, I can say delete that photo, yes. And that photo is now deleted. What else can I do from here? Uh, I mean, I have here my subscribers and I have here the URL and let's say a latest YouTube link. I can share basically my account from here by email, by messages, or I can put it into my notes. Let's put it into my notes and I can write something to my account and the URL will be pasted into your notes as well. And the settings here on top are pretty nice. Um, you can, um, yeah. You can add your profile, say I can put in another name, Daniel J. Dot. I can put in my Instagram account name or I can make a new one. I can put in a new URL and yeah, of course, that's basically all. Save that. And blocked users or I can change my password. I can change to a business profile. And I can add some accounts as well, for instance, Facebook, Twitter, Thumbler, Twitter, and so on and so on. Uh, if you press up here, it's nothing really special. It's everything, basically all I've showed you already. If you want to refresh your account, you just hit the um, Apple and the R key for refresh, R for refresh. Um, the next thing here, accounts is really nice because you can switch between accounts. So if you, if you have another Instagram account, you can switch between two accounts and there it is, which is really, really nice. Um, so let's say you have, you're running two companies and you want to upload photos and videos directly from your Mac. Uh, you just say, okay, I changed to another account and it's much easier to do everything that you, you normally do on your smartphone by your Mac. And of course I can share up here my Instagram account as well. Um, what I can go, I can go to full screen. Um, yeah, basically that's all. If I go to full screen, it does not increase the size of that window. It just blinds out the rest of your background, but that's basically all. So I want to go back now. So I press that little button up here and that's basically all. So why do I have that app? Because for me, it's much easier if I have a great photo because every photo that I normally do, I will edit and then I will upload it. And it's much easier for me to do these editings in Lightroom or Photoshop. So what I'm doing, I, I have my DSLR, put in the SD card, edit these, edit these uh, photos or videos, and then I will put them in Instagram. And so I don't need to airdrop them to my iPhone or put the USB cable in to send these files to my Samsung device, whatever. I can basically just upload every file from here. And it's much easier, as you can imagine, to write every hashtag with a keyboard like that instead of uh, with the, the smaller ones from your phone. Um, as said, there is an alternative version for Windows as well. The, you will find the direct link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.